So the Boondock Saints. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't get into this fucking movie. Uh, it just wasn't for me. I didn't just didn't like the story. You know, I like the shit that they wear. I like the get up. I like the whole, you know, the cross they wear and this and that. But like the whole story is just not for me, man. I just couldn't get into this fucking movie. So this movie stars, you know, Norman Reedus. You remember from like The Walking Dead, uh, Blade Two, you know. But he was like mostly known for this movie. That's what like really started his career is this movie, The Boondock Saints, from 1999, with also uh, Sean Patrick Flaherty and William Dafoe. William Dafoe, he's a great actor. I love him as Green Goblin, but here it's just uh, shit threw me off. Which we're gonna get to that soon later on in this movie review, and yeah. And no, I'm not, I'm not doing that whole, you know, thing where, where I say, welcome back to another review. It's me, Samuel, blah, 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 poll, this and that, community poll. I'm not, I don't do that no more. I, I'm done with that shit. That shit's corny as hell. For now on, I'm just going to go out straight out to the review. No more of that extra bullshit of me saying that whole stupid thing. You know, I'm done with that bullshit. That shit's corny as hell. I'm not doing that no more. I know these other fucking movie reviews do that shit all the time. I'd be like, Come on, talk about the movie already. Who cares about the whole pay with quest shit? Who cares? Just talk about the fucking movie already, for Christ's sakes. Like, I gotta skip through it and shit. It's too much. I don't care about all that bullshit. Just talk about the fucking movie. You know, these stupid ads and stuff like that. I don't care. Just talk about the movie. So, from now on, I'm doing that from now on. I'm just gonna talk about the movie, and that's it. No more of that extra bullshit with all the, oh, the polls and this and that. I'm not gonna talk about that no more. Fuck it. So, anyways, uh, this movie, uh, The Boondock Saints. Yeah, like I said, I cannot get into this fucking movie. Like, it's just not for me, man. Maybe because, you know, the whole thing where, you know, the goofiness they had in the beginning of the movie and William Defoe's character is gay, you know, this and that, you know, maybe because of that, what threw it off for me, you know, the boring talking, the parts where William Defoe's doing this corny ballerina dancing with that corny ass music and shit. I get it, he's flamboyant, I get it, but still. Like, I just didn't like these characters like that, you know? I didn't mind William Dafoe... No, not William Dafoe. I didn't like William Dafoe's character. I didn't mind fucking Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flaherty. I didn't mind their characters, but everyone else is just... I didn't really fuck with, you know? So, like, the movie starts off where uh, Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flaherty are at the church, you know, they're praying and stuff like that, you know, because they believe in the Lord, you know, all that stuff, you know, they're sitting there. And then they leave, you know? That scene was really good. I really enjoyed that scene. I, I was like, you know, this movie is going to be really, really good. But for some reason, after that scene, it's just like, it's all this goofy shit going on. And I didn't really fuck with the goofy shit. You know, I, didn't, I don't mind goofy shit in an action movie. But it has to be done the, 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 the way I like it, you know. It can't be like over the top. It, this, it's not really over the top in this movie. It's just not funny to me. I didn't find this shit to be funny in this movie. It's just not my type of fucking comedy for me. I'm like sitting here watching this shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, well, what am I watching here? And the characters are Irish, you know. They sit around drinking all day at the bar, you know. And you got this guy with Tourette's syndrome. Like he's the, the, the Tourette's guy from YouTube. Saying, fuck, shit, ass. I mean, I didn't really find that funny, to be fair. I didn't find that funny either. I'm like, what the, what the fuck is so funny about this shit? Some guy just spat out swear words. I, mean, I, I understand he has Tourette's syndrome. I get it. It's a disease. It makes you spat out fucking, you know, fuck, shit, ass, cut, balls, you know. See all these fucked up words come out of their mouths and shit like that. I understand it. I, I get it. But it just wasn't funny to me. I didn't, didn't laugh. I didn't find anything funny. The Tourette's guy on YouTube, now, that's fucking hilarious. That shit is one of the funniest YouTubers out there. I mean, he was on YouTube yet. Before YouTube, he was on like a different website at the time. And it was like before YouTube existed. He started like back in like, oh, what year? 2003? No, no, not 2003. I think 2001 is when, you know, no, 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 no. 2000 is when Tourette's guy started. 2000 is when Tourette's guy started. And he'd make all these funny, you know, skit videos with his son. And it's like the one of the, the funniest shit ever. It's fucking hilarious. It really is. He wears this fucking Tony the Tiger shirt. He wears these fucking big ass glasses and shit. It's it's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious. The care in this movie? No, not really. It's just not funny to me. This is not funny. So uh, Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flaherty are hanging out at the bar with their buddies. They're drunk Irish buddies because they're Irish too. And fucking Rob Zombie's cousin shows up. That's their other friend. 
He shows up. Yeah, I'm calling I'm calling Rob Zombie's cousin because he looks he's like does it like Rob Zombie. So Rob Zombie's cousin shows up and he hangs out with the two. And these two fucking assholes show up. These uh mobsters from Russia, Ru- Russian mobsters, and one this big ball head motherfucker like Egbert. And they they those two show up and they start some trouble and Next thing you know, it cuts off and cuts to uh, those two being dead in the fucking uh, uh, in the alleyway, and fucking these cops show up and they make a bunch of goofy ass stupid jokes, say all this stupid shit, and then William Defoe shows up. He's this FBI agent, you know. He discovered what's going on. He know what he's talking about. He's like a really smart fucking. Uh, I mean, he's a scientist, so it makes a lot of sense, you know. Just like from you know. I'm a scientist myself. So he's there. He knows a lot of shit was going on. And like I said, I didn't like this part where he started putting on this fucking corny ass music on and shit. Started doing these goofy ass dances looking around the place. I just didn't like that shit. I understand his character's gay, but I just didn't really fuck with this character. I just did it. They find his money. They find his movie funny. Didn't, you know, find it interesting. But. Yeah, he started doing these goofy ass dances and shit, and he knows where what happened. So they go upstairs, and turns out they got like, uh, well, here's here, here's what here's what happened. So, uh, back at the uh, the police department, fucking uh, William Defoe's talking to the boys, and Norma Reedus and Sean Patrick Flaherty, Flannery, where he pronounced his last name, they're in their robes, you know, they're talking to the Tourette's guy in the hospital, and these nuns are around, and he starts swearing, fuck shit, because they're nuns, and it's funny if a uh, Tourette's guy starts swearing because there's, a, there's nuns in, in a fucking hospital. Hilarious. This didn't find that funny either. This didn't find it funny. Like, what's so funny about that? Oh, okay. A guy that has Tourette's starts fucking swearing crazy, and there's nuns in there, and... It's hilarious. Like I said, I did find it funny. It's just nothing not funny about that because, oh, there's nuns and it's a sin to swear around nuns and it's a sin to swear at all and all that shit. But again, didn't find it funny. But anyways, yeah, that happened. Uh, now, fucking uh, Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flaherty, they show up to the fucking uh, police department and they get uh, interrogated by a uh, William Defoe, he asked him all these questions, and they showed the flashback, what happened. So, the flashback happens, back at the bar, uh, Sean Patrick Flaherty and Norm Reedus, uh, and, and the boys beat the shit out of the fucking, the two giant motherfuckers, set one, some guy's ass on fire, one of the bad guys, set their, his ass on fire, and next thing you know, fucking uh, Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flaherty are in their fucking bathrobes in this bathroom. And the two guys came in there. The Russian mobster guys come in there. Start some shit with them. Fucking cuffs Sean Patrick Flaherty's ass onto a toilet or something like that. And you know one thing before I keep going with this, Sean Patrick Flaherty, he looks like fucking uh, Jesse Pinkman from from uh, Breaking Bad. I'm like, is that Jesse Pinkman or am I seeing things? I'm like, he looks just like Jesse Pinkman. Like it's hilarious. Like this guy looks just like Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul. Well, this is like back then when Aaron Paul was like doing like these commercials and shit. He wasn't big yet. This is the time he's like still doing like you know TV commercials and shit. He wasn't like in any TV shows or anything like that. He, he was doing commercials and uh, music videos. That's what that's what he was doing at the time. But yeah, I was like, this guy looks just like Jesse Pinkman. Hey yo, Mr. White, what's going on, bitch? You look just like that motherfucker. But anyways, yeah, he uh, breaks off of the fucking toilet thing. And he goes on top of the roof while one of the fucking Russian mobster guys pointing a gun no reason his head. Sean Patrick Flaherty throws a fucking toilet seat onto him and you know I think he kills him with that. And the gun goes off and kills the I think kills the other guy or something like that. I, I forgot what happened. But that's that's why they're laying in the alleyway, because all that shit happened. <coughs> and those two get out of it because it was self self defense. So they get out of it and then, then they're all fine. So that happened, and next thing you know, you know they're sleeping, and they wake up after, uh, you know, I think it was guy was talking to him or something like that. Whatever happened, you know, they got their crosses on, and now they go take out more Rus- Russian mobsters and shit, all that other stuff. The action in this movie is just, you know, it's there, but it wasn't like really interesting action scenes like these other movies I watched. 
this guy, uh, who was this guy who directed these movies? Um, I forgot what his name was. I think it was, was it Troy Duffy? Or, what was his fucking name? Let me see here. Boondocks. Boondocks Saints. Troy Duffy, yeah. Troy, Troy Duffy. I don't know if he did any other movies besides this. Let me see here. Um, what the hell is Guess House? The directed movie called Guess House? What the fuck is no, he didn't direct a movie called Guest House. So the only thing he he did basically is the Boondock Saints. All these other shit I, I never even fucking heard of. Like, what where, where are these other fucking movies he did? Porn Star, Ron and Jeremy. He did a movie about that some porn star? Or no? I don't know. Did he do a movie about porn? About Ron Jeremy? No, he didn't. He was something else for him, I guess. He, I think he did something else for that movie. But. Yeah, the, the only thing this guy did was fucking uh, the Boondock Saints movie. That's like the only thing he actually did in his career is doing that. Okay, so uh, this guy doesn't really have a really have a resume, I guess. But yeah, it's just the way he shot the action scene is not the way. It's just I just don't like the action scenes in this movie. It's just not my type of action that, that I usually see in other movies I really enjoy. I just didn't really fuck with it. But she's the part where they uh they come down from a fucking furnace and start shooting these guys and the, shooting these Russian guys in a room. I didn't really like that part. I've just seen that so many times where someone comes down from a fucking uh fucking rope and starts shooting people. It's, it's not it's not like the first time I saw some shit like that. Well, they've done it like more interesting in other movies. Here it's just not was really interesting with the whole shooting thing coming down from a rope. Yeah, the reason why I start stopped watching this shit. Is that, is that because of William Defoe is in bed with some Chinese some Chinese guy? It has to do with me not being interested in this movie. I'm just not interested in this film. I just, just don't like the story. I don't like the whole comedy having here. It's just I don't, I just don't fuck with it. It's not it's not like it's a Shaw Claude Van Damme movie or anything like that or fucking uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or some shit. It's nothing like that at all. I mean, it doesn't have to be like an Arnold Schwarzenegger or GCVD movie, but. It, could, it actually could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot shot better than, than the way they had in this movie. Hey, maybe the reason why I can't get in this movie is because maybe I'm not Irish or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. I just don't like this shit. Like, it's just not an interesting movie to me. I've seen, like, better fucking action films done better action and had better comedy in there. This shit is just not funny to me. It's, it's like it's we've written before, like, a 12-year-old or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm just not into it. I, I just try to figure out why am I into this movie. I, I just can't get into it. I don't, I'm not saying I hate this movie or anything. I just can't get into it. I don't hate it. If you like this movie, that's fine. A lot of people like this fucking movie. It's just I'm not into it because I'm not Irish. Because I'm not a fucking drunk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Why so I can't get into this movie. I like Norman Reedus. And I like fucking uh, The Green Goblin. But I just... Uh, I just can't get into this movie. I just can't. Fucking Tourette's guy is saying, fuck shit ass. It's just not funny to me. It's just, come on. <laughs> I see the Tourette's guy do better on YouTube than the fuck the way he did in this movie. Uh, this guy is nothing like a fucking Tourette's guy. I'll tell you that right now. If you guys haven't seen Tourette's guy, go look him up on YouTube. He's fucking hilarious. Go look up, type in Tourette's guy on YouTube and all the videos start popping up. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Talk about Colgate Toothpaste and shit. <laughs> it made me feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god, that shit. I should go watch that right now. I I rather watch Tourette's guy than watch the fucking guy they have in this fucking movie be a Tourette's guy. I'll tell you that. The guy they had here sucked. He just wasn't funny. And I'm guessing he has Tourette's in real life, doesn't he? I'm guessing he does, the the guy in this movie. Doesn't he? I, I'm gonna look it up real quick, just in case. Because I'm gonna look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up real quick. Just in case, you know, just, just in case. I'm going to IMDB right now to see if he actually has Tourette's. I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want to see if, if it's true or not. Okay, he doesn't have no Tourette's, thank God. It says we had to wonder this case. He had Tourette's in real life. He doesn't. He just he was playing a character that has Tourette's. I'm just wondering this case because I don't people think I'm a fucking asshole or something like that. Which I'm not. I ain't no fucking asshole. Well, anyways, uh, I I was reading some other shit in this IMDb fucking trivia, and it also says that uh, 
Mark Wahlberg was supposed to, be, supposed to be in this movie. I guess he supposed to be in Sean Patrick Flaherty's character, I'm guessing. And he, he ended up doing Bookie Nights instead. Hey, I mean, Bookie Nights became more successful than the Boondock Saints. I hate to say it. You know, this movie did get, like, a big rating and shit, you know? The word fuck are used a total of 246 times. Jesus, did they say fuck that many times in this movie? I didn't pay attention to that. I didn't pay attention to how many times they said fuck in this movie. I was looking at the other shit in this movie besides them saying fuck all day. But, yeah. I mean, uh, there's a Tourette's guy, but besides him, there's uh, fucking the other two swearing all fucking day, too. William Defoe says fuck. He's fucking a Chinese dude in his ass. Give him that fucking uh, egg roll. American egg roll. So, there's that. Uh, yeah, that 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 really that, that scene really threw me off. Seeing him willing to full play a gay character, that shit like threw me the fuck off. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is he porking a Chinese guy with an arrow up his ass? I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> like, what, what was all that? Like, what the fuck? I was like confused. I'm like, why is he? What? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not surprising because before he's doing all these weird, goofy ass flamboyant dances, listen to some corny ass music trying to figure out what happened with those guys dead in the alleyway so that it's not surprising to me but still like what the fuck still but troy duffy i was reading something else about troy duffy the guy who directed this movie it said that he was trying to be like john woo or some shit like that no way in hell this guy could be like john woo john woo is a god of fucking action movies he's he's done it like john woo he said he said he tried to be like John Woo in one of those scenes or something like that. He tried to direct like him. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're nothing like John Woo. Get your dorky ass out of here. Fucking amateur. Like, like Troy Duffy, like I said, this guy he's see this guy sucks at making action movies. He's just he's just not good at it to me. Look, I, I didn't mind fucking uh, Rocco, you know, uh, aka Rob Zombie's cousin. I didn't mind him. I didn't mind Sean Patrick Flaherty. I didn't mind William Dafoe. I didn't mind Norman Reedus. But it's just, I just didn't fuck with this movie. I just didn't find it funny. I didn't really like the action. It's just, the story's just not there for me. I just can't get into this fucking film. If you like it, that's fine. My brother likes this fucking movie. You know, it's just, it's, it's just not for me. I like other action movies besides this. <sighs> Maybe because it's just too goofy or something. I don't know. Hey, I didn't like fucking uh, Hardcore Henry. I, I, I said that movie sucked. Well, I would re- re- watch this and watch fucking Hardcore Henry. I'll tell you that. This movie's better than Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry's just terrible. Some fucking video game movie bullshit. Oh, God. Fucking fuck that bullshit. But anyways, yeah. Uh, I just couldn't get into this fucking movie. This wannabe John Woo dude, you know.